All right, today we are looking at the array formula. So this is what I call the team player as it works very well with a number of different formulas on Google Sheets, but you're not usually going to use it by itself. So just as a quick demo of what array formula does, we just type this in. It allows you to select a format. So perhaps just a column. So we just type that column reference in there. We see it displays that column. You could add multiple columns just like this. So that's the basic of what it does. But let's go ahead and jump into perhaps some typical use cases. So here we have a sales data set. And I'm going to show you how we can use this on a data set as well as on a dashboard and interacting with a catalog. So first off, Let's just concatenate first and last names. This is a common thing to do. Now, what you might normally do is select the cell. We'll use this concatenation to put a space in between, grab the last name, and there we go. And if we double click this or drag this down, Google let us apply that to the entire data set. Instead of doing this, let's use an array formula. An array formula, we can actually fill the whole column with the data. So we're just going to wrap this with array formula. And now all I have to do is change this to the column reference instead of the cell and then end it. And there we go. It immediately fills. So this is much easier as it fills the whole column. I don't have to drag the formula down. You can see this is just text. Now, one thing to note, if I do type something in here, it's going to break that array. And you can see here, it gives you this custom error message and it actually highlights where the data is that you need to remove. So it tells me D11. So I go back to D11 and remove the data, then it fills again. But this is a very convenient way to do this. If you have some data and you can be adding more later and you don't wanna keep dragging down the formula like you would normally. So now we got our full name. Let's look at another one. Let's combine it with a VLOOKUP. We have these SKUs, but we don't have the prices in here. Now we do have a catalog with the prices. So let's look at what we would do normally. So first off, we'll use our VLOOKUP, select my G2, and then I'll select my table. And I want to start with the price. And there we go. So I could drag this down and fill the prices that way, or I can transform this into an array formula. The array formula. Now all I need to do, if you remember for the first one, just turn this into the column reference. And there we go. And it goes straight down and fills it in with there. So we can copy this formula. We can take it over to ship cost. Ship cost with one more over. We'll change it to three. Now we have our ship cost and we're about there with our database and we can proceed to the dashboard. But one thing, if you notice we have an upgrade column here. So what we're gonna do here is add a condition on our VLOOKUP. And this is a very common thing you would do in the database. So our VLOOKUP, we have column two is our price. We see our upgrades over here. Now, if there's an upgrade, we need to add this $2 to the price, $3 to the price, $4 and so forth. So what we wanna do here is add an if. So we'll do if F2 equals no, then we can just have our simple VLOOKUP formula. Now, if it's true, then we actually want to do the combo. So if you look what we got here, this is the structure. So if F is no, we want our simple price lookup in column two, which is price. And then if this is yes, we're doing Two V lookups, one to find price, the other to find upgrade, and add them together. And so then it fills down the price. We have the full price all the way down. So you can see here, with two, price 23, which is combo of those. All right, so to calculate a profit, we could just take our price, less ship cost, and we can shoot this down. Or again, we can do a rate formula and do H2 minus I2. And now finally, let's do a margin. And again, we could do this. We're doing a percentage here, so we could do profit divided by price and get our margin. 
and then we can wrap this in a array formula and get it all the way down. So you can tell this is a great way to fill in some calculations for a database without having to mess with formulas. Now, whatever data I add in here, this full name is going to be calculated. The price along with the upgrade will be calculated, ship cost, profit, and margin. So now we can look at how to do this on a dashboard. So on a dashboard, I have the start of a format here. So I have a count if for widget one. So we're counting how many in column E are equal to widget one, which is an M6. So let's turn this into array formula. So count ifs work natively with array formulas. So all we have to do is add here. Now, instead of going all the way down with n, and you can see it highlighting, our data actually ends in nine. So let's just go ahead and put nine in there instead of letting it go all the way down. And there we go. So let's do the same thing with sales. So we got sum if, let's wrap that. And again, n6, go up through to n9. And then finally with shipping again, we can do this as well. To n9, close our reference. Now we have our sales getting filled in, our number and dollar amount, our shipping, our profit. Now here we're just doing a simple formula. We could do an array formula on this as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So array formula, we'll do through row nine. And let's go ahead and do that on this average margin as well. So this margin currently I have wrapped with a if error. So let's just go ahead and keep that in there. So array formula, if error, R6 through R9, B6 through B9. And there we go. So now you can see how we can fill a database with our data, and then we can use the same array formulas to automatically calculate for our dashboard as well. This is handy, especially if you're maybe using a calculation here, maybe a filter or something like this, a dropdown, or you're dynamically filling this and you don't know how many formulas you're gonna need, this array formula will automatically fill in. And so for example, right in here, we have this with a fixed range, but if you had this on its own table and maybe you're gonna have expanding different products coming in over time, you could have just a filter or an array, even array to show your products. And then you could use this array formula to fill in so it automatically show the totals for however many products you had in your dashboard. All right, folks, hopefully that's helpful for you to give you a basic understanding of array formula and give you some more ideas and how to use it on your own Google Sheets. Thank you very much and have a great day.